Welcome to the Brian Heap Creative Writing Podcast Series. Dr. Brian Heap is the former head of the Philip Sherlock Center for the Creative Arts at the University of the West Indies Mona Campus in Jamaica. In June 2020, Dr. Heap was declared the Caribbean Regional Winner of the 2020 Commonwealth Short Story Prize. This marked the beginning of a series of events, which has culminated in this new series of podcasts highlighting the creative writing of young people in Jamaica and the Caribbean. This new series of podcasts, resulting from such an exemplary collaboration between a wide range of stakeholders, has contributed enormously in giving a much-needed voice to our creative young people of Jamaica and the Caribbean. We hope that you will enjoy each of these creative writing podcasts as we post them week by week. Third place, Up or Down, written by Brian Johnson from the Faculty of Humanities and Education, his major, Cultural Studies. Good morn. Perhaps her ear be worn. Good morn, I bid to my fair love. She hears not what I speak of. Good morn, I bid to my fair love. My lips shall greet thee from above, as the rains of spring gently cascading upon its garden of eager rosy flowerings. Hmm. Touch me not with thy vile wintry lips, thou vermin. Thy lips that well conceal thy lying tongue within. Guilty not I of such a sin. Be not fooled by this mischievous grin. I speaketh truth whene'er I shall say that thou art mine. True love, I hast loved thee from the days of my youth, my morning dove. Morning or morning, for a black veil mine heart be covering. Morning dove, my charming love. Thou speakest of things that are not. As if they were. They were. They were. They were. Were. Of days of old? Wow. Are. I err, I err. They be now. What, I pray thee, hath caused such sorrow now to rest upon the well-shaped arches of thy narrow brow? Doth thou not know? Perhaps it be my tone below. Doth I not know? I shall open wider my teeth. For it is the unspoken truth beneath. What, I pray thee, hath caused such sorrow now to rest upon the well-shaped arches of thy narrow brow? Be thou assured, my mor- <laughs> my love, the answer lieth not within my head. Take thine hand from my thigh, lest thou findest it hung high, far removed from this earth, to a land of naught. Shall I not find mine own hand, mine eyes, my love, fixed upon the one that my heart hath caught? Thou shalt, with song, if hmm. thou canst find such a one. For she existeth not within this dwelling, she sitteth not upon this bedding. Get thee hence. Oh, whence? From whence cometh such harsh sounds shot at my heart, and knowing not how I hath wronged thee? Thou speakest of the heart, silly, but the brain shall prove thee a well-suited pawn to traverse this sea. Entreat thee not to let me drown, for lest me up to thy level. That I shall float and not go down. Oh, down is where it pleases me to find thee now. For there is but one place hence for a worthy crown. Thou makest me frown. Let go of my gown. A simple dress. Hush! Be ye warned. I think it best. Speakest thou not as if I were a common fellow who hast glared upon thy visage with, with eyes of lust. Oh, but dear, I must. Refrain, I pray thee. For I am not at fault. Oh, but dear, thou art. I am. Thou art not? Call on thy memory, dear man. I canst not. Thou canst. <laughs> I feel such angst. Speak, fair love. Hold not thy tongue. Let the heavens bear perfect witness to the hatred for thy wretched husband thou holdest. 
Thou speakest with, with, with such certitude that thy husband hath erred in his ways, for thou hast witnessed firsthand the truth that shall make him ashamed among the townspeople many days. Speak, my wife, set thine anger ablaze. Sing my evil praise, phrase by damning phrase. Woke I this morrow, thou wast not by my side. Mine heart folded onto my chest for the emptiness I eyed. That feeling, though, became not as pressing as the one below my chest, bellowing to my being that I shall have to race with zest against beating heart to the lavatory for fear of letting a sea of water upon this entire dwelling. Moved I with such haste, and did win, it would appear, but my euphoria was not to be, for my derriere sank in frigid water, filled with less than sun-kissed evidence, spilled from thy penile letting gallons of releasing. For thou hast, in selfish vein, failed to place the seat of the chamber pot down for my sitting again. Therein lies the root of my pain. I, I have sung my refrain. <laughs> oh, Jane, thou hast me laughing. Thinkest I that thou hast come upon a grave tiding? As grave as thy eternal place of resting, which thou shalt soon find if thou shalt continue with this gesture. Oh, no, not I, dear. I shall put in word for thy flares to be used to elevate the theatrical offerings of the town's clowns. Oh, that thou shouldest take my words in such jest. I frown. What manner of love? Oh, that this entanglement be done now. At last we doth agree. Simple end. Place the seat of the chamber pot down. What for? That I shall sit thereon with no fear of the past being relived. Oh, that thou wouldest learn from thy past errors be my bid. Thou shouldest look with care before thou shalt perch upon thine throne. Within mine own dwelling? Thine heart be stone. What other shall I look upon with detailed eye, my dear? Shall I expect company hence, whene'er I, sh I shall derobe, so derobe I must with care? Shall I keep my jewels on my person, whene'er I shall step away from its box with care? Shall I use mine eyes with care, in the looking glass upon my visage, lest I not see my face appear? Look with care beneath my bed for the phantom that dwelleth there? For it shall fill my dreams with all the things I so doth fare. Walk with light feet, lest I shall awaken the giant beneath that wouldest pull me through the earth's sphere. Shall I with care live as the Neanderthal, hiding within the gates of the civility in which I was birthed so fair? To what end shall I stare with care upon my own chamber pot, as if into a deep abyss, before I shall sit and take my moment of bliss? So that thine end be not met with water therein again. As a dog returneth to his vomit, so a fool returneth to his folly. Oh! <laughs> oh, joy! Not a Neanderthal am I to my husband. But a common dog. The mighty have fallen. When shalt thou cease, so we canst at last be at peace? Whene'er thou shalt learn to place down the seat. Cannot thee? I am a lady. Oh. I shall not be made to do what I should not. Thou didst the deed. And who shall place it up as I shoot my shot? It shalt be thee, clearly. So I shall place it up. Then down, and thou dost not a thing? That certainly has a gentlemanly ring. Oh, ho, ho. I'm aweary of this discourse, and to my belly. Prepare thee thy gentleman his meal, my fair lady. Then take thee thy cloth, and make this dwelling in a hurry, as spotless as the lamb mounted on Calvary. Skip not a room, not a corner, not a speck of dust from the farthest wood of unmoved chair. Whene'er such tasks be fulfilled, then thou must adorn thee with the sweetest of scents and lay thee down bare, for I shall lay within thee seeds of my happiness, 
which may very well bear, fruit after fruit, year after year, which thou shalt nourishest upon thy breasts, so rich as the roundest pear. I pray that thou stayest thee at this dwelling, and movest not with the age, for it pleases me that thou mayest not serve any other lord for meagre wage. What is money, when my love shall make thee rich? Even more, out in world be not the haven for my lady. There be vile creatures who may call thee witch. Thou shalt remain in this lair where I, the hungry lion, shall protect thine beautiful hair. Get thee hence to the kitchen, and be a lady fair. And if it be that I doth not as thou instruct, Then I fear I shall teach thee the correct manner of the conduct. Oh, that thou would have such luck. Then I shall punish thee, kill thee with some words of love. Thou feedest the flames within my stomach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, I pray thee. Not this moment, lady. He that feeds himself from waiting could die of hunger. But I must. I stay I here no longer. <coughs> How much time me fi tell you fi put on the toilet seat. Forget thee not the moment just before with words so sweet. Well, what sweet you go so are you coming out upon you tonight? Forget thee not that we speak as two that are rich and white. Me tired of this role play. You just upset me. Come, season thy tone with some gentility. Chat to me now, Malyasa, not hot up my brains. Shall I caress thee hmm? and take away thy pains? Now touch me, John Adamson. Yeah, go and let me do you something. The toilet! You forget? You don't let go for that yet. Oh, me feel let it go when you're not learning. Me? When are you keep on I get the burn? Yes. Me keep on I get the burn what into your peepee. Yo, mind, you make people think we over here get kinky. But seriously, me never go back into the bathroom so I can't me left the seat up. I must see you. Yes, after me drop in there this morning by your careless, carefree doing. So why you never just put it down? No, me, me leg up on you the full length of my tongue. All right, so we are going around in circles. No chat to me, sir. Blooming Steve Urkel. I mean, you talk to sir. Jane, me's your husband. You never know that when you check out of that woman. Me no business about nobody else. Are you are my one and only. So that's why you're in the bed at night time, but me feel so lonely. But look how me day I try to spice up my marriage. And not my fault make all work go on yourself like parish. Because you just know for kill man mood. And you just know how to starve me when I want my food. Alright, come. Come we try again. Can give you a nice meal. Go feed it to the puppy them wrong back. Better yet, give it to Miss Camille. How do you do? Mmm, yeah man. You're not gonna know. Up me your phone. Um... Me not think me like your tone. Yeah, man, you're not gonna like it. I mean, you want take for cloud. I would appreciate it if you keep your voice down. Now tell me what you do. You is not my part. You're right. Me's your husband, and I'm me a pay the bills, in you. Oh, so because me not know what me not know chat. Well, as of now, everything for me lack. Come on, baby. You know what me mean. Don't do me that. Are you run things in here? That is a fact. <laughs> so you not say nothing? May I get silent treatment? Why you love deal with the thing like, like we're picnic? Like me under punishment? Well, them say when somebody very silent, anything you ask, them a consent. So, you love me? That mean yes. <laughs> you want to give me a kiss? <laughs> oh, Lord, me feel so blessed. <laughs> Baby, me feeling such relief. Hmm. Murder! Police! Chief! Chief! Why you have to cause me so much grief? You want me to start walking the street and charge a banana leaf? You know, you, you make me feel bad. Like me no work nothing right now. My heart just sad. I'm gonna love you still. Make you enjoy your dear. You get your wish. 
This murder and thief will stay away. Chow. Listen them something, the man. Relax your little self, no chan chan. Olande, I beg your way. Not again. The horse done gone through the gate. No. How we manage if we get baby? That nah go happen just so. Them things there's a big maybe. But what if one does actually come? Then we will survive. Because our strong love. <laughs> if I laugh with you today, I must pop. You think love can buy pampas in a in shop? Well, tell me why it can buy from the store of Miss Jane. Because me have a whole heap of love a bubble right now in my vein. Well, it depends on what you really want. And how much love you have in your pocket for flat. <laughs> more, more show you how roses are red again when we put them side of your lips. And how violets get extra blue cause them no curvy like your hips. More show you how the big bad summer sun turn fool and get shy when my little good body wife open up her pretty bright eye. More show you how when me look by you all part of me start with flutter, flutter. So all when my want go on tough, you just melt big man down like butter, butter. Tell me, tell me what this lover can get. Cause baby, may I tell you, right now, you make big man your eyes start sweat. Lord of God, this nice here. My heart did lock, but baby, you find the key. Hmm. Oh, who that man? Oh, may we assist? Behold, I come to fill thy house with everlasting bliss. Sorry, wrong house. I don't think it's we you want. No, man. Make sure come in. Cause it's gone, I gone. <laughs> surprise. Yeah, man, surprise when I don't hook sorted to our no dirty eye. Ooh, thou speakest with such a fiery tongue. Oh, man, I kill, she go kill you. Run. <laughs> You just heard Up or Down, written by Brian Johnson, featuring Shanice McCatty as Jane and Desmond Dennis as John. A Philip Sherlock Center for the Creative Arts production, sponsored by Chase Fund. Oh, 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 o